but plans to add 40 more in the coming years. We have the phone number for the hotline on your screen. It's also on our website, kbjr6.com. As the pandemic rages on, so does the need for food. It's a problem for more families than you might think. KBJR6's Alex Libby gives us a first-hand look at two Northland nonprofits that came together today to help. Whether it's on top of the hill in Hermantown or down by the lake in Duluth, food insecurity shows no boundaries. If there's food left, we'll distribute it to some of the local food shelves, um, but uh, chances are pretty good that we'll be done before 6 o'clock because everything's going to be gone by that point. Todd Johnson is the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of the Northland. His organization and the Duluth YMCA spent Thursday afternoon giving away thousands of pounds of free food. Johnson says these food giveaways are essential for those who can't afford fresh, healthy food. We've got 1,300 boxes. Each box is uh, 24 pounds uh, in about $100 value. Out of those 1,300 boxes, 650 of them were given out here at the Heritage Center in West Duluth. The other 650, the YMCA in Hermantown. And much like last week's food giveaway at the deck, the overwhelming need forced them to open early. We were expected to start at noon, and we had cars lining up at 9 a.m. So we had cars lining up three hours early. According to both Sass and Johnson, this massive need is directly related to high unemployment. With the pandemic, there's a lot of people out of work and a lot of people doing what they can to survive. Johnson says food giveaways like this will become more common as long as the need is there. We're actually on board for the next couple months to do this. Uh, our plan is to do it once a month. We can do it more if there's a need for it. So. And both of those food giveaways have since wrapped up and were federally funded through the Farm to Family program.